It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. The word cisgender has been giving like a lot of traffic as of lately. And I figure when I get my own personal, you can say two cents about this whole entire matter when it comes down to whether the word's a slur or not a slur. On Twitter, James S. has posted this. Yesterday, after posting a tweet saying that I reject the word cis and don't want to be wished to be called it, I received a skew of messages from trans activists calling me sissy and telling me that I am cis whether or not I like it. Just imagine if the roles were reversed. And Elon Mark says, Repeated targeted harassment against any account would cause the harassing account to receive, at minimum, temporary suspensions the word cis or cisgenders are considered slurs on this platform. One thing I immediately noticed was the fact that there are some people in the past that said that social media companies can set their own rules and do whatever they want to. These type of people who are making that same kind of argumentations are now going against the idea of what they argued in the past because of this whole entire situation. And so the people that make that argumentations, to me at least, look like massive hypocrites. One major argumentation that I see all the time on social media is that six is just a prefix used to describe people who identify with the same gender as their birth is no more insulting or made up than describing someone being straight. Now this type of argumentation makes no type of sense Largely because the word homo refers to one person, and so if somebody were to say homo in reference of homosexual, usually it's considered to be offensive, it's considered to be a slur. And so although homo is actually a scientific term that we use to refer to humans, right? It seems as though it can also have different kind of uses depending on the tone of voice of that person to refer to homosexuals. Also, when it comes down to words being used linguistically, it kind of depends on the context. It largely depends on the person using that word. Is that person actually a friend or a complete stranger? Or the kind of tone of voice you're using it. If that person has a happy tone of voice when he used that word, or a negative tone of voice when using that word. And so almost all words can be positive depending on the context, and it can also be negative largely depending on the context. Now when it comes down to the question on why cisgender was actually used, it was actually done by a person who was like a pedosexual physician. It says right here that the term cisgender has gained widespread popularity in recent years largely due to a push from trans activists who define the word as the opposite of the transgender. However, few users of the term are aware it originated with a German sexologist who also believes pedophilia is a sexuality. In a 1991 publication titled Transsexuals and Our Nomophic View is credited as the first published instance of the word cisgender as an acronym to transgender. He was a sexologist, magician, and sociologist who served as the director for the Institutes for Sexual Science. Cisgender is now widely used to refer to people who are said to have a gender identity that matches their sex. However, the more accurate translation from the German use is actually cissexual or sexual, though now sex referring to either sex origins or sexuality has been replaced by the vague and subjected to a cisgender. In a, in a 2011 interview with him, he said that pedosexual is not the desire to abuse children, but act on that impulse. He proposed that the best outcome for treating pedophiles is not the loss of their desire, but instead preventing them from having contact with children. I'm just in complete amazement how many pedophiles are there for like sociality. Because first we have like the pedophile for the word gender. Now we have the pedophile for this particular word. I'm just kind of curious, like how many more people are pedophile for this kind of industry when it comes down to sociologist terms? But what do you guys think? 
tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.